<laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Night, Night Coop. Coop. Hey, team. Uh, hey, team. So excited to be here. So happy to be here. We're here with our iced teas. I have two lemons, and Kelly has one big lemon. Yes, and we discussed this. I got my iced tea at this place called Harvey's, which is underneath the gym that I go to. Which is somewhere that I've never heard of in my life. And it's very interesting when Kelly and I go places that the other one does not know Exists. exists well and there's really no need to know this place exists unless you go, go to, to the gym to, yeah i don't know if i should say the name of the <laughs> yeah, gym I that i go to yeah no one's gonna find me there you're not gonna find me i mean i, I look completely <laughs> different at the gym yeah yeah i i'm telling you right, 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 right the way that my bang stuck to my forehead today after running disgusting i haven't been to the gym in so long i love the gym but i also am on my feet all day so it's like I it's different for you it's different it's different it's for different. you I'm not on my feet all day you guys know this uh so the gym is a necessity for moi <laughs> although there was someone in the gym today that I could not stop I could not mind my business I could not stop looking at them this girl came in mm -hmm. and was wearing a striped tennis skirt uh-huh okay not horizontal or vertical horizontal Okay. Okay. The colors were of an old navy swimsuit. Okay. Okay. She's wearing like from the bold Crayola pack. From the bold Crayola pack. Is that correct? No, 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 no. From I would say. I mean, yes, but they're the blues from the bold Crayola. Okay. Pack. All right. Okay. She has a water bottle with a stuffed animal attached to it. I'm like, what is going on here? And I don't know. She s turns on a song. And I watch her go, yes, oh, like that. And I'm like, I can't tell if it's just a bit of the tism or if you're a little, uh, uh, or if you, cause she looked and I'm not, I'm not trying to be a bitch, but she had like uh, what could have been either acne scars or meth scars. Could have been either or. It's sometimes it's hard to tell and sometimes it is both. Sometimes it is both. Yeah. I mean, you just, you don't know what you're going to get at the gym. Some people who do meth have acne and some people who have acne do meth. Mm. Mm. I saw today a young lady who her BBL, bless her heart, oh dear. Uh, was popping out the bottom end of her skirt God. like you would not believe. Wait, what do you mean? Like it was, it was malfunctioning like, no, or just full, her ass was her out? Her ass was out. Oof. Her ass was out and her legs, other than her ass, were very thin. And so it was just like us it was all obvious. seeing ass. Yes. Us all <laughs> seeing not not real ass. I hate it when it's obvious. I mean, it was beyond obvious. Like, that sucks. And everybody's like, you know, borderline, like, a little bit. I can't even imagine walking in somewhere and everybody's making fun of you. I mean, I'm sure they've done it to me before. Sure. For some reason. But it yeah. wouldn't be for something that I spent a bunch of money on. Yeah. It's just <laughs> crazy. It's like, th I think that a lot of times people think in L.A. that, like, you're getting away with looking like that. And people think it's attractive. But, like, some of it's really bad. Some like, of it is got, really bad. You got but botched, it, honey. You got botched. In, and all for what? For, for what? what? For a trend, really? Because liter as time goes on. Th that's gonna go away. People yeah. aren't gonna be into that anymore. Right. I mean, I don't even know if people were really into it to begin with, or if it was just the media made you feel that way. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people are like, that's not appealing to me. Right. Right. It's almost like you got got. Yeah, you got got a little get a little bit. That's such a bummer. A little bit. I don't. I, if it looks normal, then that's one thing. If yeah. you like have a flat ass and you're like, look, I really just need a little I bit. I need of help. a little bit of a push. Yeah. 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 Um, but today's topic. Mm -hmm. Today's uh, topic is restaurants in general. Yes. Did you have any news you wanted to discuss? By the way, news I know everyone that I wanted to news. discuss. Um, I don't really. Every bit of news that I've seen lately has been very upsetting. I was at the gym. They're talking about abortion again, which I can't even believe. I'm like, what? Uh, I feel like we are just in this cycle nonstop. Nonstop. It really doesn't. Nothing is going to change. It just feels, uh, it's exhausting. It is exhausting. And I see people marching. They, they showed like a thing of. of oh, they're marching again? Of, well, no, no, no. They were marching in D.C., I guess, oh. or somewhere. 
pro-lifers were marching and whatnot. And I'm like, this is a young man's game. I went to- marching is a young man's situation. Well, when we went to Catholic uh, high school, they had the the March for Life trip that Catholics would go on and go to D.C. and protest in regards to the March for Life. And Hilarious. I remember being asked numerous times, do you want to go to the March for Life? And I really didn't like even at the time I was like, that sounds insane. Uh, that sounds you're all going to get like. The fact that because it was a Catholic high school, they got away with like politicizing. Yeah, you're children using like these that. kids as pawns. Yeah, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You're 16, yeah. 17. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's very, that is fucked up. I never strange? really thought about that. Yeah, and it used to be like, and and I know so many people who don't have that same mindset anymore but like during the time it was like this oh march for life it's a fun activity for us I'm, to go and I'm march for life for life yeah it sounds so innocent yeah yeah Ugh. and then the other thing i saw today is someone else kidnapped in israel and whatnot oh yeah that's Jeez. it but i got no i don't i what do you even do about all that i don't know i don't know i don't know because <laughs> like it's very upsetting rent is still due like yeah, what, what, what am I supposed to do what about am I all su- of it? What am I realistically? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. It's just upsetting. It's horrible. It's sad. It's horrific. It's bad. All of it's mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. And but what? Jojo Siwa came out with her her song. Oh my this goodness! Week. Jojo Siwa came out with her song, and it's really. Uh, I've already made fun funny. of her on one podcast, so I'm gonna. I haven't gotten to make fun yeah, of her. Yeah, so please feel free. Um, I think that somebody close to her needs to have an honest discussion. I feel this way with a lot of people. I feel this way all the time. The people closest to you are not being honest with you. They are supporting you because they love you and they're wrong to do so. Well, they're wrong. My my problem with this is yes, everyone should go through phases in their career and blah 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 yada yada yada. But this but is not to to say that this is a normal phase in a career is out of line and out of touch. Here's the thing. Here's what went backwards here. OK. OK. Because she was a child star. OK. She is getting this out of her system now where she's already famous and she's doing this bullshit. Whereas most people her age, if they're going through these phases, they're not as widely received by the public yet. You get the opportunity to make some mistakes. She does not have that grace and that opportunity because she's already famous. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. So people are like, oh, let her do what she wants to do. Sure, but she's also doing it with millions and millions of dollars. It's not as though you're giving an opportunity to someone who deserves to be able to experiment. You're giving the opportunity to somebody who is already where they're at. Yeah, and she really, at the end of the day, she it's not as though she looks expensive. She looks as though she went to Michael's and dove headfirst into a container of paint and glitter. It's, yeah, it's looking broke, but she has a shit ton of money. That's what's weird about the makeup thing. <laughs> That's what's weird. It's bad. It's badly done. I mean, every artist goes through a bad phase. Why are we not allowed to talk about it? I don't know. I don't I know. I mean, that's what that's what you're supposed to do in this society. You talk about celebrities and you talk about the choices that they make and you build up a little narrative as to why they would ever do such a thing. And you'll never actually know the truth, but it's fun to talk about because it's a distraction from everything else going on in the world. Yep. Anyways, restaurants, restaurants. So this or that today, I have... <laughs> All right. A pirate three theme. Let me start that over. Jesus. Uh, fuck, Kel. Uh, oh, okay. You had to rev up those engines. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> a pirate themed restaurant or a tiki bar? 
Tiki Bar. Really? I go Tiki Bar because the pirate themed restaurant, the food is not going to be good. But it's the drinks never good. The drinks at the Tiki Bar will be phenomenal. Yes. I like the atmosphere of a pirate th- themed bar. Why is it so <laughs> freaking hard for me to say? <laughs> Dare I say it? Arg! I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. And that it was I was trying to show frustration as a pirate, but right. I don't think they say R in right. frustration, do they? Right. Why do I keep doing the hook? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know, Kelly. You tell me. You tell me, sweetheart. I can't. I can't. I go tiki bar as well, obviously, because it's the one I can say. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta lean on that. I also think a tiki bar, the one critique that I have of it is that the drinks are too sugary. That's my one critique. Yes, they'll give you a headache. Mm-hmm. But what I've been doing lately is I've been ordering cocktails and I've been saying, hold the syrup. Hold the simple. The simple syrup? Hold the simple syrup. I don't need it. It goes straight to my brain. It goes straight <laughs> straight to my head. The simple syrup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? It goes straight to my fucking head. And then I wake up and I'm wildly hungover. Oh, it's awful. Because I got it's, simple syrup. And, and there, the thing about simple syrup is that there ain't nothing simple about that hangover. Well, and I was talking to a nutritionist, and she was telling me that the problem with alcohol is not that there's sugar in it. It's not sugar in alcohol. I didn't think there was sugar in I alcohol. I thought there was for some reason. But no, it's the sugar in the drinks. I didn't think there was any sugar in alcohol. You didn't think that? No. Oh, I thought that. Why did I think that? Uh, there's sugar in wine. Mm. Okay, maybe I was wrong. So sue me. So sue me. What's your this or that? You have an attitude. I don't have an attitude. You have an attitude. You're calling me stupid. I'm not calling you You're... stupid. I just thought you knew that. Uh, you thought that alcohol, plain alcohol, had sugar in it. You Look thought a shot of vodka had sugar? Look at this. Look it's at, a shot guys, of vodka. You guys see this? You guys see this? <laughs> Do you see what I go through? <laughs> I can't fucking say shit. Did you? I I just I, I can't even say knew. pirate framed bar <laughs> without getting ridiculed. I just thought you knew, but you didn't. And I guess why. I didn't, Allie. I guess not. What's your this or that? Can I tell you something that happened today? What? Well, okay. Before we even get into it, and I work in a restaurant, can I tell you something what happened? that happened today? What happened? I got a phone call. We use um, <laughs> twist ties for our for our soup. Okay. For the soup? A, for the soup. We put the soup in a bag and then we ah. tie it so that when it <laughs> gets on. delivered, you know, whatever. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I get a call today. <laughs> I get a call today that a woman last night ordered soup, got the soup, took a spoonful, and there was a bread tie, a soup tie, in the soup. I go, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. She goes, so I call, I, I called DoorDash and I got it refunded. But I went and I went to go look back and, and double check. She goes, and I I did a spoonful in the pint container. She goes, and there were like nine more bread ties. Oh my god. And I go god. I go, what? And she goes, I know. There were like nine or ten more bread ties. And I go, oh my God. The container of bread ties that we have is a pint container. One of my staff members didn't look in the container before putting soup in it. So she got the stack of bread ties in her fucking soup. Thank God she didn't choke on it. I know. Oh, my We gave a gift card and everything. But when I, she said, there were like 10 bread ties in there. I go, I know exactly what happened. And I. So, so sorry. Oh, wow. I'm going to show you this picture. Did she send she you a picture? She sent me a picture because she was like, I just feel like you got to see it. Yeah, I just I feel mean, like if, you got to see it. If it's a handful of bread ties, then that is <laughs> ridiculous. How do you not even look in the cup? I don't know. When you're putting the soup in the cup, <laughs> wouldn't you... <laughs> That is so many bread ties. Oh, my God. Oh, man, that's funny. And I should have talked to the general manager. I don't 
don't think we can put this in the um, thing, but I'm telling you, <laughs> it is a clump of bread ties. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the comedy of it is the fact that whoever poured the soup <laughs> just didn't look in it before and and the thing is is that the comedy of it is that she was so confused and i knew exactly what had happened i also think this is an opportunity <laughs> to move the bread ties into a different <laughs> we, container we, we are going to be doing that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. all you need to do is learn that lesson one time <laughs> Anyway, ready for this? <laughs> with the picture. I guess we should also move the knives out of the pipe. <laughs> you, know. you never know. You with never these know. People. Okay, go ahead. Waiting thirty minutes in the meal being right, or waiting five minutes in the meal being wrong? I'll take my time. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. What if you're really hungry? Oh, I, I've. I'm all right. If I can wait five minutes, I can wait 30. But what if it's a modification that it's like you can just like, what if what if you said no avocado and, avocado and you could take like, it off the sandwich? Then I guess. But how wrong or how right is it, Allie? <laughs> it's passing. It's passing. It's then C. I guess I don't want C. I don't want C. I'm tired of paying for food that is not good. I don't want C. Oh. I am tired of being unimpressed I get it, by girl. food at restaurants. I am t I am tired of it too. I am I'm it really is not am. cheap to go out in this country. It is so expensive. So when something is wrong, I I I I'm going I'm getting a little grumpy about it now. My boyfriend and I got Wendy's the other night. It was $33. $33 for Wendy's? Why are we getting Wendy's? No, nothing was open. <laughs> okay. It was late. Did you get nuggets? Nuggets. nuggets are the best. I got nuggets reason. and fries. He got nuggets, fries, and one burger. Thirty-three dollars. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? At first, I wanted a frosty, but I was like, I don't want to break the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I vote. I vote waiting the thirty minutes. I don't. I'm not in a rush yeah. to get my food, really. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Yeah. Um, metal graded chairs. Or picnic bench style. Ooh, I hate ooh, both ooh, of these. Ooh, ooh. I hate at a restaurant. I, I hate, hate them. Picnic bench so much. Me too. I hate it so much. Give me a back. Give, Give me, me a back. back why to my am fucking I, chair? Why am I climbing into my seat? I don't want to climb. I don't want. I don't want to do a hurdle to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I picnic bench style opens up. Too many doors for too many people. The community style. Be, the community style. No, no, I no. Don't, I don't want to be around people I don't know eating. I came to eat with the people that I know. Exactly. I'm not here to make friends. Picnic bench style. There's one place that I like the place so much that I would do it again. And that is that pizza place that we went to for Laura's birthday. It was very, very good. That was but very the good. second I walked in and saw that we were supposed to be eating like pigs out of a fucking, what do you call it? Why a is this pizza place set up like a barbecue joint? Yes. That doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. I'm paying twenty five dollars for a singular pizza, Give and you're me making my own me. Table. You're making me sit on a wooden bench. You're making me. You're putting me oh, in summer you. camp. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's what you're doing to you're, me. You're putting me at camp. It's one of the reasons why I think breweries should go fuck themselves. I don't really like breweries. It's too. We all like beer. We I should all know each other. Don't need a community. In the restaurant. No. I don't need to make friends at the restaurant. If no. I'm at a bar, a, bar a regular is bar, A regular that's bar different. is different. And I barely want to make friends there. I barely want to do it. Some people go out to make friends, though. That's I don't. That's what they do. I, I don't do that. I don't go out to make friends. I go out to be with the friends that I have. I pick the metal graded chairs because at least... If I have an imprint when I get up from sitting there, mm -hmm. I know that the imprint came from the chair and not from someone being squished next to me. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Your turn. Wholeheartedly. All right. Let's see. Outside patio booth or inside at a table, although there are booths inside as well. Give me inside. I don't, unless I am at the beach, on the water. 
I uh, hate eating outside. I don't need to eat outside. I hate it. There is not one reason. I'll have a drink outside. I will have a drink outside. Eating outside invites bugs. Bugs. And a bug, a fly around my food is the most annoying Ooh. thing in the world. It will ruin the entire experience for me. When we go to a place, first of all, it gets hot here, okay? And when you go to a place and they're like, do you want to sit inside or outside? And the person you're with says outside. I'm like, we have never had less in common. Never. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. You go sit outside. You sit outside. I'll, I'll be in here. I'll see you after this. I'll, I'll see you after this. I I'll don't care. You after this. And you ever, you ever ask to sit inside and the, the host is shocked? The host oh, is yeah. like... Oh, inside. Yeah, we can do because people are like, you don't want to enjoy this lovely evening outside. No, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to be where it's unpredictable. I don't want the. I don't want more variables be yes. unpredictable at the restaurant where other people are preparing my food and taking my order and doing everything for me. There's a lack of control that I already yes. have. Yes. Yes. There's also, a lack of control. I've been outside before. I know what you it looks like. You guys act like I've never been outside before. The sky is blue. The sun is orange and yellow. That's it. I know what it looks like. I don't need to be outside to eat. If the moon is out, I probably can't see it from the angle in which I'm sitting in. There are no stars. I am around pollution. I don't need to be outside. I don't need to be outside. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. You order and you get a number or you get a buzzer. This is a tough one. There are pluses and minuses to both. The number, I appreciate because I don't like the shaky of the buzzer. The buzzer freaks me out. The buzzer makes me anxious. But the plus side to the buzzer is that you can walk away and still... Yes, you can go. So I always liked appreciated the buzzer when I was waiting to get a table. Buzzer is good for waiting to get a table. Buzzer mm -hmm. to get your food if you're seated... Uh, I don't get that. Give I, do, me, I don't give me like the that number and bring yeah. it over to my table. I'll take a number. I, I pick number. I honestly, one of my least favorite things to go and do is go to a place where you order at the counter. I hate ordering at the fucking counter. Why am I ordering at the counter and tipping you as if I'm not ordering at the counter? I'm ordering at the counter. I'm standing and waiting in line. I'm not seated. I'm not enjoying myself until the food comes. There's no enjoyment before that. There's one type of place that I can support this behavior at, and it is a, like, fish taco seafood type place. Yes. Even then, I don't like it. I really But if it's something like it. I'm getting American food and I'm doing a buzzer or a number, I'm like, guys, guys, I... This isn't a part of the experience. The it doesn't thing have to is, be a part of the experience. The thing is, is that they're still getting away with charging $17 for the burger. They're still getting away with charging $18 for the burger when it's counter service. Why so you might I... as well go somewhere where they're going to bring it to your table for $18. I'm with you. I'm uh, like... We're, we're just making people... We're, we're making people... Uh, it's hard to not mimic that clip of Robbie Hoffman talking Robbie about... Ho and Robbie, Robbie Hoffman Hoffman's is hilarious. right. Robbie Hoffman is right. She, she is right. <laughs> she posted this clip. Uh, I do, maybe I'll put it in the in the link thing. Yeah. Um, but posted this clip about tipping and whatnot and how we are doing so much of the work now at restaurants, which we are. Which we are. If you go to Portland, they literally have things that say, bus your own tables. Portland has the worst customer service I have ever seen in my life. In Portland customer my life. service. And they're the ones that bitch the most about not getting tipped enough. I worked um, in Vancouver, what, the Pacific Northwest in regards to customer service is just horrid. It's horrid. Awful. I worked as a, a manager while I was up there and I had somebody come in one day and try to poach me from my job to work in customer service at where she was working because it is so hard to find anybody with any life in them. Oh, they're, uh, they're, they don't understand why they have to work. I know. I don't get it. 
I don't get. I don't. What I did don't you understand. guys think being alive was? What did you think this was? Did you think it was enjoyable? Did you think it was relaxing? People have been working since the beginning of time. Yeah, I don't. It's not gonna stop. You gotta work. You gotta work. Uh, uh, is it my turn? Yes, I think so. Okay. Server with no personality or server who's trying too hard? Mm. It's a tough one because this is where you go back to kind of your argument. I'm not paying sense. you to have a personality. I'm not paying you to have a personality. I'm paying you to get the food right for you to be polite and whatever. Um, but if you're trying too hard, I really do appreciate that. I prefer the server who's trying too hard. I do. I because do. I, I do. don't I don't care. It's so if, easy to not give a damn. Yeah, yeah, I don't care if you're clearly your love language is different from mine and you want to be overly like, "What's up, love? Hey, girls." So what I like whatever. I'm fine with that. You're trying. You're okay? trying. Okay? Even if it's not in the way that I would try, you're still giving a shit. Yes. Yes. I always prefer somebody tr who tries harder than somebody who doesn't try at all. And mm -hmm. I take this from an ASAP Rocky quote where he's talking about how people get made fun of for trying. He's like, oh, and you don't try? You're a fucking loser. Yeah. Like, it's good to try. Mm -hmm. That is a good quality to have. Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, yeah, I definitely pick the people that try too hard. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, okay. Bacock, Mary kill? Yes. Okay. I have fine dining, a five-course meal, fast food, or a chain sit-down restaurant. I'm killing fast food. Me too. I don't really like fast food. I don't really like fast food. Yes, I had Wendy's the other night. That was the first time I've had actual fast food in But I could live without months. it. <coughs> the only fast food that I, I really either. eat a lot is Chipotle, and even then, I wouldn't call that fast fast food. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe a Taco Bell every now and again, but even then, I like, can live without it. I just it, the and it's really not good for you. <laughs> well, that, but it's also like I can just make a bowl of pasta at home. Yes, I don't need the. I can imagine that if I commuted to work and I had a different lifestyle. Fast food would really come in handy. Right. But it doesn't for me. Yeah. it. I, I don't need it a lot. Right. Right. Yeah. I agree. Um, I'm going to bacock fine dining and marry the chain restaurant sit down. Because fine dining to me, it, it's too much. There's a it, lot of salt. It is, yeah. And I don't really like super rich food. Mm -hmm. But the chain restaurant, I know what I'm getting. And you know what? And I'm also going to go with the chain restaurant because I know the menu is bigger and I won't get sick of it. Yes. Fine dining. I've been to some fine dining where you're looking at it and you're like, I'm never going to be in the mood for any of this. Yeah. You ever see a menu where it's like, I know this is supposed to be really good, but the menu itself is absolute dog shit. Like you're like, this is not... I guess this could be good if you put it to... I have no interest it's in how eating I, this. Yes, it's how I feel about French food. Yeah. That's I look I at it and I go... Food too. Uh, I mean, sure. I would imagine that would be good. And the thing about French food is you're eating it and you're like, yes, this is technically good. Yes. yes. But it's not hitting the spot like right. I want it to. Right. It's right. no chicken crispers. No, it's not going to be. It can't be. It can't be. All so right. we picked that. We picked yeah. kill fast food, Bacock Fine Dining, Mary Chain Restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. As a concept, not actual people. Okay. The line cook, the other server, the manager. The line cook, the other server. So you work there. Yes. Hypothetically. The line cook, the other server, the manager. Um... Uh, kill the other server. Bacock mm. the line cook. Marry the manager. Because the other server, uh, it's too, you don't know who that server is. Uh, uh, servers are a piece of work sometimes. Yeah, line probably cook, an actor. Line cook, you know he's putting it down. Yeah. I hate to say it. <laughs> and then the manager, yeah, what am I, stupid? You marry the manager. That's he's got I'm, the he's got the one with the the, the steady money. income. Yeah, yeah. 
Stable he's check. Pr- he's probably reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's how, how I would do it. Yeah, that's probably how I would do it, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a what the clock. I have a what the clock as well. Really? We haven't done a what the clock in that's a minute. That's great. That's great. Oh, man. Okay. What the hell do I do with my napkin when I'm done? Your cloth napkin. My cloth napkin, because I... I put it on the plate. I put it on the plate, too, but I don't think you're supposed to do that. Mm. Because I think that it soaks up the leftover... Fo- I think it's like a no-no. Mm. No, I don't think so. Really? I think... Because I'm the only one that puts my napkin on the food when I go out to eat with other people that do that, where we're at a place with a napkin. No one else is putting their napkin on the ta- on the plate. Really? They're putting it back on the table. And the but other that's thing. that's gross to me. That's then you're getting your schmutz on the table. Sh- <laughs> I agree. The other thing is, I don't need the waiter to put the napkin on me. Please put don't the- put the napkin on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird Please as hell. don't put the napkin on me. They do it. They do it. And they also, like, if you go to the bathroom, they have the napkin and they put it back on you after the na- after you Where go to the bathroom. Where are you going to eat that they're doing this? These fancy ass places. I don't think I've ever had my napkin put on me. Well, uh, it is alarming. I'll tell you <laughs> that. It's like having someone put your hat on for you. <laughs> You're like, uh, thank you, but you didn't. I could have done way. that. I I could have done that, and you didn't do that the way that I wanted you to do it. That's so it's, weird. It's a little intrusive. It likes to, it's like they're tucking me in at my seat at the table. <laughs> yeah. You and other people to, are yeah. like, wow, how lovely. Get off me. No. Are you talking about when you've gone to dinner with, with Anthony? Yes. They put, well, yeah, you're not a, uh, you're not a put, put my napkin on me type of lady. There are so many things. Going out to dinner with other people who know what it's like to be fancy and you yourself are not fancy. Not only am I not fancy, I am loud. Not fancy, awkward, <laughs> doinky. I am doinky. I am doinky. I'm hitting my glass by accident. I'm going, is that a real candle? Like, I'm, I, I am not the right I person. I know. I know we are not poised we individuals. Are, that's what we, we are doing. not poised. We're not poised. I'm here, honey. I'm, I'm here. Yes. Yes. You know when Kelly and I are in the room. Yeah, we just, you know what we do unapologetically is we take up space. We do. We do. We <laughs> take up a lot of space. But I like taking up space. Yeah, me too. You know what the next time I'm going to say? <laughs> when they put a napkin there, I'm going to go, not there. <laughs> and see what they do. Where would they put it? You should, you should next time they, they go to put it on your lap, you should go. <laughs> Tuck it in. Tuck it in a, a little bit. I'd please. like it right here, please. This is where my drippings go. <laughs> <laughs> this is where my drippings fall. Yeah, I don't Ew, know. I don't drippings. Know. That's the word that came to mind. Like you're trying to eat a steak and just au jus is falling out your mouth. Au jus. <laughs> yeah. Au jus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, homie. <laughs> au jus. Au jus. <laughs> A Jew has taken over Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Sorry, I did his voice and I had to. I had to. Uh, go uh, ahead. Your turn. I want to talk about the time that Kelly and I were severely gaslit at Chili's. <gasps> <laughs> this is my what the clock. This <laughs> is unforgivable. Go ahead. So Kelly and I years ago went to Las Vegas, and when we were on our way back, we decided to stop at a Chili's in Barstow. One moment. Las Vegas is a city in Nevada. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and we stopped at Chili's, and our server came over and took our order, and then about 20 minutes later, he came back – back and truly acted as though he hadn't taken our order at all like he came back over and he said are you guys ready to order and kelly and i said "Uh, we already ordered ordered. and he goes "Mm, i don't think so no and we were like my brother in christ we ordered 20 we, minutes ago. We ordered 20 minutes ago. He forgot to put it in. It was obvious and came back around mm-hmm. trying to make it seem as though we hadn't done it at all. 
It was one of the strangest things <laughs> I have ever witnessed in my life. He tried to truly bamboozle <laughs> the two of us. So guess who got bamboozled? Him. Him. We got gift cards out of it. Yeah, we called the manager and we were like, he acted as though he hadn't taken it. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. I to mean, us. if he had come over and been like, guys, I'm so sorry. I was running around like crazy. I really messed up. I forgot to put in your order. Can you please remind me of what you were getting? This is totally on me. I'll give you like a free dessert or something. Yes. Fine, whatever. But to come over and act as though somebody within that 20 minutes came over and fucking men and blacked us. I mm -hmm. mean, that was insane. Well, and this is the issue with people who don't write down the order. Because if I... he had written it down or if he had just put it into the tablet or anything. He could have gone back over and, and been like, I don't know why it's taking so long. Yeah. He didn't cover his own ass he didn't cover because his own he was ass. too cocky and too mm -hmm. confident. Which, look, if you're 60 years old, you've worked at the same diner for 15, 20 years, and you're not writing it down, fine. Fine. Okay? But if you're a 30-year-old guy at Chili's who... Uh, in Barstow. In Barstow. Can you just be a little more secure and get to write it down. I need you to pull back on one Bud Light that weekend and I need you to go to Staples and get yourself some Bix and write it down. <laughs> write down, take some paper, take mm -hmm. some scrap paper. Cause guess who looks stupid? You. 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 Yeah. I don't look stupid. I don't look stupid at all. I'm not the one who's supposed to write it down. Exactly. So you come back to us and you go, you guys didn't order. That was that, insane. That was your plan? That was your plan. To look at us and hope that the two of us would just go, oh, I guess he's right. Not even not even one person. He looked at two people. He looked at two people and said, this didn't happen. And hope that we would just go, oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't order, did we? Wait, that must have been a figment of our imagination. The two of us. <laughs> The two of us, we have such a strong imagination. We thought we ordered. You're right. Which makes me wonder, how stupid do we fucking look? I guess pretty dumb. I guess pretty stupid. Yeah. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I've got we've got beef. I've got a we've got beef. Okay. It is 2024. What do you mean you're not taking reservations? What do you mean? What do you mean? You mean for an actual sit-down place? For an actual sit-down place. I agree with this as well. It is a lock-in that you're about to make money. There's never been an easier time to be able to curate reservations. I'm, most of the time, if I have a party larger than four mm -hmm. and I can't make the reservation, I'm, I'm not, not going. I'm not going. I'm not playing these games. No. I don't sit and wait for a table. No. I am 30 years old. My legs are tired. We got shit to do. We've got you, shit to do. You think I'm just going to your restaurant? That's my only plan for the evening? That's the entire thing I have going on the whole night? That's what you think? No. 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 Like, I, uh, uh, again, with this pizza restaurant that we went to, so glad we were able to find seats. It was packed in there. I know, it there. was packed. And I'm going, wh why, why, why are you risking it all? Yeah. Why am I walking into your restaurant with nothing but a prayer? Yeah. Because, and sometimes you get told 15 minutes and it ends up being fun. You know, you know what I actually cannot stand is if you put me on the fucking wait list, but you don't take my phone number down and text me. Let me go do something else. It is 2024. I'm not waiting on a bench at your restaurant for 30 minutes of I'm my not life. At a Texas roadhouse in Tyler, Texas. Okay? I have other things to go and do. I have other things to go and do. And I run a tight ship. I make a reservation. I tell people you need to be here at this time. Don't fuck with me. I'm the one who has the resi. I'm the one. I'm always the one making the reservation. Who has the open table. Exactly. I am making the reservation. I am not playing these games. Even if it's if, if we take reservations, but you have to call. Fine. Fine. I'll call. I'll I call. I got no problem. I, I got no problem calling. I got no problem calling. 
And and the thing is, too, is that if it says on the thing, everyone in your party must be present to be sat, all y'all motherfuckers better be on time. Mm -hmm. And I also don't even mind if the places where it's open table, where they go, because if you cancel this, mm -hmm. we need, if they're like, look, it's $10 a person if you cancel this. If you cancel this within an hour or whatever. Fine with me. Fine with me. Fine with me. I told you I was going to be there. I'm keeping my word. I'm keeping my word. But you gotta give me the opportunity you to make a reservation. You gotta give the opportunity to make a reservation. Mm. You gotta, you gotta give me the choice, the I chance. Know. I know. Oh, I'm the same. I'm the exact same, Kelly. Go ahead. I have beef with people who make the server reach all the way across the table to pick up plates oh or my put God. them down or pour water or water. Do you not have fucking hands? Help, help them out. You have hands. He doesn't have six feet long arms. Okay? Pass your plate. Pass, Pass your, your plate. plate down. Pass your plate down. Pass your cup. Lift your cup up. Here you go. You can you put go. the water right here. Easy. You came all the way over here and brought me my water. How about Here's I my lift cup. my arm? Here's a little bit extra exercise. Get I'm rid of that so arm fat. Just because I want you to come... Get rid of that arm. <laughs> Just because I want you to come serve the table does not mean I'm going to act like a little princess. Yeah. Okay. Come. I like it when they serve the table, but I'm also willing to pitch in. I'm willing to help. Yes. I'm willing to help to a certain degree. But going out with those p types of people, uh, it all the becomes... The not handing the plate over is insane to me. The having them reach over... And pick leaving, up your... Leaving trash all over the trash table? Trash on the table? Would you put your straw wrapper on top of your plate that's dirty and put done? On your, put it on your plate. I, 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 put it on your plate. Why is it all over the table? Consolidate. What are you thinking? What are, what are you doing? Are like, you brain dead? Like, do you really want people looking over and saying, like, that's a group of disgusting-ass pigs? Is that what you want? That's what they want. Is that what you want? People to look at you and go, wow, you know what? They're scum. Mm -hmm. They don't clean up after themselves. Mm-hmm. I clean up after myself more at a restaurant than I do in my own home. Other people are present. Other people are present. This is how I'm displaying myself Especially to the community. Especially if it's a busy restaurant mm -hmm. and you're not doing anything to help out. Your server's already stressed and you're going, no, why don't you come over to this corner? Get the plate from over here. Here's another thing. If you're not adding on to the check after you're done eating, get up and leave. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go socialize where it's time to socialize. Yeah, but you're, you're here to eat. eat. You're here to eat. If you are still adding drinks onto your bill, if you're still drinking, by all means, go sure. ahead. But if you're not drinking and you're not eating, what the hell are you doing there? If, if Get up and leave. Uh, yes. Yes. Other people are waiting to sit down so that they can eat and they can drink. You're done doing that now. Get up and leave. <laughs> now, if it's empty. If it's empty, Take your time. Take your time. But if you see people waiting in the corner and waiting for a table and stuff, and you have the audacity after you're done eating and drinking to just sit there. Read the room. Read the room. Get up. I think everyone sucks. Everyone is so invested in this. This is the problem that I've been talking about with this country for I don't know how long. I honestly had this thought for the first time when I was like 16. Hold on. We are. S I need you to go like this. Okay, and then I need you to say that sentence again. The entire time you spoke that sentence, a string of spit was just caught in between your two teeth. <laughs> so I, I'm going to cut that out, and I'm going to need you to start that <laughs> sentence over. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to? <laughs> I don't want to leave it in. You want me to leave that in? <laughs> you want me to leave all this in? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Then this, I will. This is real life. This is re this is real life. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you have a string of spit, <laughs> and you and you have to hope that people are focused more on the message at hand mm -hmm. than a bit of saliva. But they never are, Allie. They never are, and I know this because of the music video to Wrecking Ball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah they never are you couldn't do one more shot you couldn't do <laughs> one more shot in that music video you had to i mean i know she was crying and whatever and you know you get a little more you salivate a little bit more i mean she had a web of spit <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and that was in the archives, wasn't it? Back yeah. in there, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, people don't forget, I guess. Yeah, they don't. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> squeaking. Wee hee hee. I'm squeaking. She's squeaking. All right. Hand house open mic. Let's get it. I have a poem. What do you have? You have a poem? Yeah. I have a song. You want to do your song? Sure. All right, go ahead. I had to charge my phone. <laughs> right. Okay. Plate on the table, I knew. Portioned out fillet, begging you to stay, begging to feel new. Asparagus with. <laughs> Asparagus was rotten. I told you to complain, but you took your chances. I'm sorry this romance is running its course. And it only has one. No appetizer round. No dessert when we're done. Why would you eat rotten? <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Why would you eat rotten food? Just. <laughs> 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 Why would you eat rotten food just to avoid the confrontation with the server? It's their fault they served you rotten asparagus. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm tired of hearing this from you. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I already asked for more butter. If I tell her it's rotten, then this. Dinner is over. <laughs> is that it? Not a tune in sight. That was awful. That was so bad. I'm so upset. Okay. It's me, the health inspector, the man who runs this sector. Can I start? <laughs> okay. It's me, the health inspector, the man who runs this sector. I see a bug and I give you a D. I see a lipstick stained glass and I give you a C. You'll never get an A, from, but you might get a B from me, the health inspector. I've seen roaches. I've seen rats. <laughs> I've seen mice. I've seen cats. But, cats. One thing, <laughs> but one thing is certain I have never seen the inside of a woman's apartment. <laughs> I'm a lonely little man <laughs> with a health inspector plan <laughs> to one day meet a woman with a desire to ban every restaurant on the plan. It. <laughs> you see, I hate eating out. I like eating at home, but I am certainly tired of being alone. Oh. So if I gave you a C when you deserved a B, it's just because I want to give a lady the D. <laughs> oh. I got a little inappropriate. <laughs> I, just, I just wish I could have consented to hearing that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I've seen <laughs> I've seen <laughs> I've seen roaches, I've seen rats, I've seen mice, I've seen cats. Cats. Cats in the restaurant. Yeah, like a bodega cat. <laughs> Okay, well, hey, everybody, this has been a very fun episode of yes. Night Coop. Um, obviously, you know, follow us, Night Coop Podcast. Give us a five-star <laughs> review. Uh, you can follow me at, at This Is Kelly Ryan. And at I Am Allie Ryan. Um, and uh, for shows and whatnot, kellyryancomedy.com. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's it. That's it, y'all. All right, thank you so much. We'll thank talk to you, you soon. See you next time. Bye.